More about that deadly robbery attempt at a Houston restaurant last weekend. The robber was shot and killed by a customer who happened to be carrying a gun when it happened. That shooter is cooperating with police and will now have to face a grand jury. He'll decide if the shooting was in self-defense or if he should be charged with a crime. Now, if that seems to you to go against Texas gun laws, KMAX Cameron Mendoza spoke with an attorney and a gun shop owner about all of this. Hey, Brian, in a case like this, gun owners have to act fast and make a split decision. But living with this decision and deciding if it's legal follows right after. Video released sets the scene. A man enters, pointing a gun at customers at a Houston taco shop, demanding money and wallets. While heading for the door, an individual fires his gun in the robber's back, killing him. Kevin Glasheen says exercising your gun rights at appropriate times when in danger comes with risks. Carrying a gun is, is, is itself is a dangerous proposition because you might use it. <laughs> and if you use that gun, you could end up in being the one who's charged with a crime. So these are split second decisions. You better be sure you know when you can and can't use deadly force. Glasheen says you have the right to use your gun if feeling threatened, but make sure it's a last resort. My advice would be don't pull out a gun unless you feel like you need to use it. <laughs> and then if you do need to use the gun because somebody is really threatening you or others' lives, and you, you're confident that it's the right thing to do, then you can use that gun to use deadly force. Tom Larson, owner of Lone Star Shooting Sports, encourages gun owners to learn about their rights and be informed on the legalities that come with owning a gun. It's really highly encourage somebody who is an unlicensed carrier to look up online, attend a class, figure out what the laws of the state of Texas are, when and when you can't use the use of force, when you can't use the use of deadly force. Larson says he wants people to carry responsibly, whether they are licensed or unlicensed. Too many people just pick up a gun and start carrying. I'm very good with uh, unlicensed carry, except you do have an obligation to figure out the laws of the state of Texas and when and when you can't use that firearm, where you can carry and where you can't carry. The man who shot and killed the robber has not been arrested or charged, but is in contact with the police and will have to face a grand jury who will determine whether or not the act was out of self-defense.